Okay, well, I've done it again. Went out and got another new toy. Except this one I didn't buy off eBay. This one I did a swap for. I traded it. I traded one of my uh, crybaby wasps for it. And uh, I think I did okay. These uh, full tone Clydes, they start at around 200 bucks, and they go up even more when you get ones with all the fancy doodads and bells and whistles on the side. Uh, this is the basic garden variety full tone wasp. And they're in the $200 range, brand new. Um, it um, sounds really nice. It's got a 9 volt adapter in it and an input output jack. That's about it. Um, give you the tour of the inside of it. There's uh, true bypass switching there. Uh, the pot uh, apparently is designed by them. What makes it different from any other pot, I couldn't tell you. But uh, it works. Um, there's the 9 volt plug right here. Input output jacks, pretty standard stuff. Uh, the inductor is a full tone inductor. Apparently, what they've done is they've gone and tore apart uh, a few vintage was from the 60s, old Vox was, the sort of things that uh, Eric Clapton or, or uh, Hendrix or Page or any of those guys might have used back in the day. And they tore them apart, figured out what made them tick, and they came up with this, uh, this inductor. For whatever that's worth. Um, another nice thing too is it's got this little trim pot here. You can uh, adjust it up and down to your style of playing so you can add a little bass to it or you can make it a bit more trebly. Whatever whatever works for you. So that's kind of a cool feature. It'd be nice if it was accessible on the outside but it's just nice to have anyway. And uh, another nice nice thing is there's a clip for the battery to hold it in place. It's not flopping all over the place like the um, like the Dunlops do, held in with that stupid little sponge that falls apart. So um, there you have it. It's uh, you can see the construction, wiring is beautiful, really well made piece of gear. And uh, there's, there's the uh, the base plate for it with all the info. You know, manufacturer made in the good old USA, California. And um, Okay, give me a second, I'll put it back together and uh, we'll try it out. Okay, I got the uh, Clyde all set up. I'm using a Strat, plugged into a Marshall Hayes 15 uh, tube head, 412 cabinet, and I put a switch, foot switch on the Marshall so I can toggle between clean and dirty channels. We can try it both ways. Okay, so here's that's your clean. Here's the wah. Here's the full sweep from the heel to the toe. That's full. It's all the way back, full, all the way back, okay, we'll go over to dirty. Back to 
clean pan. Tone Clyde, um, brand new in the stores, about 200 bucks. You can get them second hand for about 150 bucks. It seemed to go for that uh, pretty much all day. Uh, nice and smooth. I think it's smoother than a uh, than a crybaby. Um, it, it's not jumpy. Some crybabies you start the uh, the rock and then it'll go from bass up to treble real quick. You're constantly looking for that sweet spot. Not so much with this, seems to be uh, a bit smoother. Uh, and it does have a trim pot in it so you can adjust it to uh, to taste. And uh, there you go, Fulton Clyde. Any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.